You might have heard about this wonderful transcendental equation e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0. This equation is beautiful because it elegantly connects five of the most fundamental numbers in mathematics, e or the Euler's number, the base of natural logarithms, appearing in growth and decay processes. i, the imaginary unit, the foundation of complex numbers, defined as the square root of minus 1, or i square equals negative 1, pi, the famous ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Then all of them clubbed together this way, when added with 1 gives 0. It arises naturally from Euler's formula, which is e to the i x equals the cause of x plus the i times sine of x. When you put x as pi radians, we get this beautiful equation. But wait a minute. What are cause and sine, which are trigonometric functions, doing in an equation involving exponentials and imaginary numbers? Now, there are many materials out there that show how to prove this equation using Taylor series, which expands functions into infinite sums of polynomial terms. While that approach is mathematically rigorous, it often feels abstract and disconnected from intuition. But what if we could prove it in a way that feels more natural, and which will blow away your mind using nothing more than simple derivatives? No infinite series, no heavy algebra, just pure intuition and the power of derivatives. Let us define a function f of x, which is equal to cos x plus the i sine of x divided by e to the i x. We can also rewrite this e to the i x in the denominator as e to the minus i x in the numerator, right? Next, we will be differentiating this function f of x with respect to x using the product rule. We know that the derivative of the product of two functions g and h is equal to g times the derivative of h or h prime plus the derivative of g or g prime times h. So if we take g of x as e to the minus i x and h of x as this one, then f of x equals g of x times h of x. Also, the derivative of g of x or g prime will be minus i times e to the i x and h prime will be derivative of this. Derivative of cos x is minus sine of x and derivative of i times sine of x equals i times cos of x. So h prime equals minus sine of x plus i times cos of x. Great. Therefore, the derivative of f of x equals g times h prime, or this, plus g prime times h, or this. Now let us expand this. This will become minus sine of x times e to the minus i x. Then this will be plus i cos x times e to the minus i x. Now this will be minus i cos x times e to the minus i x. And this will be minus i square sine of x times e to the minus i x but i square equals minus 1. So this will become plus sine of x times e to the minus i x. Here comes the real magic. Look here. All the terms get canceled out with each other, and we get 0, which means our function f of x is a constant. Wow. Now if we put x as 0, we get f of 0 as this, which will be 1. And therefore, since f of x is a constant, Therefore, f of x equals 1, which means this ratio is 1 or e to the i. x equals the cos of x plus the i times sine of x, which is none other than Euler's formula. Just to clarify, this is not something I personally discovered. In fact, this simple and elegant proof can be found on Wikipedia and other mathematical sources. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good.